in tank for them. Sad Boy's still there, obviously. Trace and PB and Jam are still there, so the DPS are untouched. Uh, but Clickbait, haven't seen him playing too much just yet for Alter Ego. And August 9th. I'm pretty sure I had a girlfriend who was born on August 9th. I oh. hope it's not her. That's very She didn't like me, so that would be embarrassing. All right, but let's see if, uh, well, maybe she can do a, a good job here for maybe. the Knock Predators. Uh, regardless, Alter Ego and Knock Predators on this first point of Nepal. Can I see who ends up coming away with the first fight, which could be kind of a big deal, actually. Almost always a big deal, Elfish Guy. Point not yet unlocked. And you can see the Knock Predators taking a fair bit of damage, to be to be honest, uh, across the board. Six on the site right now for Alter Ego. They try and recapture the point or capture it to start off with, I suppose. PB and Jam doing a ton of damage across the board here. Both, you see Joker's already gone down, making life very difficult there for Special Kid, who's now picked up. Well, mm. they'll get it with ease and stack their ultimates in the process. Yeah, so, Alter Ego, a very, very good start to... Oh, oh, well... Oh, oh Xiao Bao. That is what I call a meme beam. It's definitely I a meme I beam. I accidentally... My Q. I accidentally my Q, I'm sorry. I think Knock Predators are going to be aware of that. They would have heard that, so they're going to try and take advantage of it and push right in and maybe make something happen here. Oh, Dragon Blade coming out from Noz finds no one so far, but the Knock Predators aren't going to rely on a Genji this time around. They found two to come back in return. Oily Raid to go with a self-destruct should it be required. I'm not sure if the positioning is great though and no self-destruct used this time around. The point still in the hands of Alter Ego here and Trace yeah. on the point with, uh, with that EMP now as well. So this is potential for the next fight really to go Ori here for Knock Predators. Yeah, not a single defensive ultimate there for Alter Ego in that fight, but uh, they make it work anyway. And except so, for... <laughs> yeah, well, except, except for, for the Zell Val. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a zoning ult, Ben. I, I wouldn't expect you to understand. Sorry, mate. Good pick, though, for Knock Predators. Maybe they can make this fight work. A lot of ultis available for them. Yeah, a ton of ultimates are available across the board, but you see Trace dropping that EMP, yeah. which pretty much finishes off a, a, a big portion of this fight to start with. The you see the sound button. barrier does come out. The Winston Primal Raid trying to do their most, but I'm not sure if it's oh. going to do enough, Jordan. How is Noz still alive there? He was so low for so long and still not getting healed. Inevitably, he actually wins the duel against PB and Jam, and so not Predators. They might just be able to flip this point, and, well, they have to hope that they can because it's up to 91% already for Alter Ego, and Reckoner eventually does get taken down. So the flip will come across for not Predators. Rekka did a pretty good job though, right? Just yeah. trying to stick on the site, trying to get as much of a percentage lead as he can. Look, I know you say that it's Rex, sir, and I realise that it is, but like, it should be an S then, not a C. Just yeah, well, I mean, that, that, it is what it is. I didn't choose the name. Not Predators have chosen a pretty good time to cap that point across though. I've got uh, three ultis available, four coming up very shortly for August 9th, and even Oily and Joker are pretty close by. So maybe Alter Ego are going to find this a little bit more difficult than it has been. You know, they got to 94 with relative ease, but now they're going to be the ones on the offense, even trying to retake the point. Uh, here we go. Nod's coming out with a Dragon Blade with that sound barrier stacked on top. PB and J's found one. Nod's pushes through, actually doesn't find any kills by the looks of it. August 9th ready to go, picks up one, picks up two, really, if you count Sad Boy and the D Mech. And we're now up to 50% for Knock Predators on the point, Jordan. This is uh, a nice little comeback for them. I kind of count the D Mech as a kill because, like, I mean, realistically, as soon as you get D Mech as a Diva, you're pretty much dead. Nine times out of ten in the middle of a fight like that. Knock Predators have done well there, though. Utilizing not every single one of their ultis, and they've still got Transcendence available, so that could be pretty big. Trace, still as of yet, does not have the EMP. Should have it before the final fight here, but not for this one. And maybe Alter Ego just want to dry push this one and use it as a, an ult builder. Yeah, well, Alter Ego have the time I just, think. I think. What happened there? Special Kids popped his ultimate for some reason. I didn't see him. The trance? Yeah, you can hear the trance coming out. No, no, like earlier. Really? Yeah. Maybe they're just throwing out their cues. Maybe uh, someone must have been putting pressure on him. I don't know who. Maybe PB and Jam. Maybe Trace. Regardless, hasn't worked out nicely for Knock Predators. They've no. not used the Transcendence in the middle of this fight, and all of a sudden it's going to be flipped over to Alter Ego at probably the worst possible time for Knock Predators. I don't even know if they're going to be able to contest this, especially with that self destruct coming in. Yeah, nice little BM self destruct coming over the top just to zone out any potential players trying to push through an Alter Ego. 
get it. 100 to 99, though I don't know. Like, I know that's the score, Jordan, but it didn't feel like a 100 to 99 to me. I thought it was fairly close. I mean, that last fight definitely could have uh, been a little bit better for Nock Predators, that's for sure. It was really a complete wipe for Alter Ego, but I'm not sure what was going on there for Nock. Uh, now, though, heading into the second point, so it doesn't really matter if it was 100 to 99 or 100 to 0. It's still one up on the board for Alter Ego and zero for Nock Predators. Mm -hmm. Both of them look like they want to go for a fairly similar composition here. However, August 9th with the Tracer as opposed to the Soldier for Trace. Indeed. I mean, we've got a Mercy in the in the mix as well for Xiao Bao, but realistically... Oh, Aesthetic's going to swap over as well. So it's a Lucio versus Zenyatta as well there for the healers, but still kind of the same concept for both teams here. And Junkrat the... up against Junkrat. Yeah. What more could you want? Oh, well. Well, Nod's going to win the first battle there. I was about to make a joke about uh, about little grenades passing in, in the, like ships in the night, Jordan, but PB and Jam going to get resurrected there. So that's one less resurrection mm -hmm. that they can use in the next 30 or so seconds. Yeah, but Trace goes down, and so they're not going to be able to res him. And that means it's going to be a free cap, essentially, for Nock Predators. The Alter Ego know that they can't really contest that one. It does allow Nock to set themselves up quite nicely and uh, bunker down on the site. Really, they've got the, the Arista Shield there. You saw the Steel Trap coming out on the stairs as well. It's going to be a tough push forward now for Alter Ego. Unless they can get a pick. Waiting for an ultimate here. At the moment, no one really uh, being able to stack these up all that well. Though a lot of damage there coming out from Noz should be able to find him this rip tire. I'm not sure it's going to be enough though, as yeah. we've seen a couple of players get picked already by Alter Ego. Noz is probably going to have to fall back here. So, two is special kid. So, they got to 31%. Mm. One third of the way through. Not a very convincing hold, really, from Not Predators. No. Joker goes down, and then everything sort of falls apart from there. People start getting hooked and picked and, and everything. And now Not Predators have to do the dirty work again and try and make their way onto that point. But they've given it up to Alter Ego, who have set themselves up now as well. Yeah, sometimes I'm not really sure about holding on the point here. Pulse Bomb could be big. Pulse Bomb could be big. Decides, doesn't want to push it that way. The rest of the team coming around the right-hand side. Knock Predators trying to work out the best way to fight this one out. And well, Sad Boy and Trace going down is precisely oh. what uh, Knock Predators wanted to see here. They should now be able to recap the point. See you later. Rex Sir going to get found on the site. And Trace not going to use that attack visor right now. Probably yeah. for the best. Yeah, that was uh, actually pretty much the dream there for a trace. So August 9th has, you know, a free kill onto PB and Jam and then gets the follow-up Pulse Bomb as well onto Rexer. So overall, Knock Predators are going to be happy with that. The flip does come across fairly quickly, but Alter Ego up to 52% and Knock Predators still kind of fighting from behind right now. But they're the ones kind of finding the majority of the picks here. And I think that's the difference between these two teams right now is that Alter Ego are just having a little bit more trouble keeping their players alive in the necessary situations again. Wow. August 9th finding two, and now that's four down. Just Sad Boy and PB and Jam left alive. Sad Boy's taken out. So uh, just gonna have to wait for everyone to respawn. Yeah, well you questioned the hold on the actual point here for not this, Predators. Yeah, I much prefer this to be honest. It's a bit more of a forward hold, and you know, it just is just one real choke point that Alter Ego have to push through. Now obviously there are some avenues to get in around the side. There's a couple of flanking routes, but realistically speaking, the majority of your, your squad is going to be coming in through this one angle and up against a Junkrat. It's not very fun, and we've already seen the res again early on in oh. this fight from Xiao Bao. Noz gets another kill onto PB and Jam, and the problem for, for Alter Ego continues to be these picks, and despite Xiao Bao getting a res early on in the fight, it's, it's early on in the fight. It's not when the fight has actually started, Ben. Well, that's it, and now they they are running out of time seriously here, so much so the Tracers run around the back and dropped uh, dropped the ulti. The attack visor, alas, is uh, not so good up against six opponents. One apiece is where we find ourselves. So maybe this match is going to give us what we hope to. Maybe it's going to deliver. So far, it's pretty close. 100 to 99 and then 100 to 50. And on to the final part of Nepal. Yeah, here on on uh, on Village. I don't know. It's going to be close. I feel like these two teams are actually quite evenly matched. We've yep. said it a lot. We say, oh, this game's going to be, be even better. 
feels even. Well, in, th in theory, they should be. You know, they were pretty close on the on the uh, ladder coming into this match, and they've both had roster changes coming into this week as well. So it's it's a fairly mirrored scenario for both of these two teams. They're both in the same pretty average position in terms of yeah, still trying to qualify for yeah, the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. So. But a lot this match on the could line. be the one that decides it, really. Yeah, it's a very important match. It's crucial for both of these teams. They're going to play teams. their heart out, Elfish Guy. Indeed, and they've both got a Reaper. They've both got a Reinhardt. It's a very, very similar mirror match once again. Rexer, his shield is down. He gets demolished Later. there by August 9th. Great work so far from him on that Reaper, just really putting out the damage and causing a lot of problems for those big tanks. Oh, Volterigo, of course, very easy to deal with them as Reaper when you can get close. And Oh, look at this. This is farm time for him. Or oh, perhaps not. Nah. Nope, inevitably, he's not going to go down. And just having that little bit of extra HP on the Reaper does make you a little bit more difficult to kill to I'm, a I'm, Roadhog. I'm genuinely interested where, when you're in that position, you lose your Reinhardt very early on. Do you back out or do you continue to fight? Oh. Obviously, they chose to fight. It didn't work. Maybe... You hang in for another five seconds, hoping for a, a pick of your own. Yeah, yeah, it's probably pretty situational. You know, if you see someone that's low, you think, okay, maybe we can stay in this one. But this maybe not so. PB and Jam does go down really early. Very, very split up from his team, Alter Ego. It's, they're just all fighting one by one, and that's not going to work. Knock Predators were together as the Death Ball. Alter Ego were, well, they had a flanking Roadhog, Ben. And so how often do you see that? Not very often, and there's probably a reason for it. Look, he's... He, he moves around okay, though. You can jump a lot. Yeah, well, Feels it, like you're moving fast and all your chains You know move. what I reckon would be cool? If, if Roadhog could use his hook as like a Spider-Man thing. That might be a you little bit You mean like broken. Widow? Yeah, like a grapple. Like a grapple that... But grapple. also could hook people. Mate, I'm pretty sure it would break if it tried to pull him up to a building. Oh, it's a massive chain. Well, this is going to be bad, though. Look at this. August 9th. The perfect timing for his ulti. Trace is going to survive all but for a moment. So as soon as he comes out of his shadow form, he's going to go down. He certainly will. The Cole Essence now coming out as well. Just, uh, I guess, trying to get some heals across. This is looking much more solid from Knock mm, Predators. Knock really Predators looking very good right now. I mean, now. it's not necessarily looking a lot... Like, I don't think Knock Predators is necessarily doing anything better. It's just that Alter Ego is kind of giving them these team fights for free. It's one by one, Alter Ego are going in. Obviously, that last one they had to deal with the ultimate coming out from August 9th. But overall... They just have not put themselves in the correct positions and they've been getting picked off one by one. Need a great sound barrier to Earth Shatter here from Alter Ego, I think, to try and keep this one going. Rexer is ready to go. That Coalescence comes out. Sound barrier. There's the uh, the Earth Shatter as well. Joker wasted his. Nice work. And they will manage to regroup and recap the side at 99%. But the reality is, Jordan, it is so hard to hold out for 99 when your opponents, all they have to do is stack their ultis. Yeah, really, it was just a battle there between who lost their Reinhardt shield first and who was going to get the first Reinhardt ulti off. It was Alter Ego, and Joker tried to utilize his to stabilize the fight, but went down before it actually popped. And so, unfortunately, he's thrown that one away, and now Knock Predators going to have to try and retake with not too many ultis. At least the benefit for them is that Alter Ego doesn't have too many either. And Noz fights finds the first pick of the fight. Well, they walk onto the point here, Jordan. Both Rexer and PB and Jam Going to go down so quickly, and with that, so should Alter Ego, the Knock Predators special kid, throwing out a coalescence. I suspect in just a second. Well, wow. celebration, mate. Where's your? Where's the? There it is, the celebratory coalescence. It gives Knock Predators the two-one victory. Yeah, definitely good stuff from Knock Predators, particularly in that third and final round. Uh, they really found their stride there, and Alter Ego definitely, you know, some things to work on. Perhaps the communication isn't quite there. From uh, from those guys, given that they're a fairly new roster together again, uh, but they just seem to be going in sort of a little bit uncoordinated, one by one, all split up a little bit, and walking into the loving arms of the Knock Predator embrace, which was, you know, didn't really work out too well. well for it's them, like did a, it. a big cat, right? A big cat. The logo. Knock Predators. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lion. It's a lion. Yeah. I was going with memory. I wasn't looking at it like you. <laughs> it was a big, big cat. I mean, I... You looked at it, Jordan. No. It's on your screen. Where's your evidence? It's, it's on the. St what do you mean? Where's my evidence? They can see the same thing we can. What? I'm just looking at my table. There's oh. notes here. Anyway, anyway. What are you so, talking about? What was a 1-0 in the favour of Alter Ego turned into a 2-1 for Knock Predators. Yep. So that's a, it's a great little swing around, great confidence booster heading into the second map of this match, a crucial match. 
both these teams. Feeling pretty good, I reckon they would be. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's looking a little bit better there for Knock Predators. I mean, it was close uh, for a couple of those rounds, but you could sort of start to see them warm their way into this match as the, the game progressed. You know, maybe it took them a little bit of time to get the ball rolling, but even that first round, it was 100 to 99, and Knock Predators, they, they had one bad fight and mm -hmm. one inopportune time, one really bad time, in fact, and they weren't even able to contest that final point. So I think it was really, really close there for Knock Predators even maybe potentially securing a 2-0. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily say that I've seen enough from Knock Predators here to make me think that they're going to win this series off the back of that. But, I mean, look, it's I did predict Knock Predators to come out with the win. You did. So far, they're yeah, going don't okay. Don't count your chickens yet, but Jordan. Definitely. Don't don't get too excited about yeah. it just yet. It's only yeah. one map. Yeah. It was still fairly close. Correct. Alter Ego have got uh, some real potential to come back into this and, one. And I think we talk about maps a lot, mm. and I feel like of any of the matchups, potentially this matchup may see the, the, the map pick play into it more than others. So let's go and see what our second map will be. What has Alter Ego picked? It'll be Numbani. You got yeah. any thoughts to add here between these two teams, whether they prefer Numbani or not? You see Alter Ego played it twice. They've lost it twice, twice yep. but Knock Predators haven't played it at all. Yeah, so that's a bit of an interesting sort of dynamic between the two teams. Now, you do have to remember it is Alter Ego's map choice. So mm. on that respect, they must at least be coming into it in some level of comfort. But... Uh, again, it, it's so hard to say given that they've got this newer roster and, and all these changes that, uh, and even like playing with their coach, you know, it's obviously not ideal, particularly when your coach is playing your main tank, which is generally going to be the first guy in. You're going to be on the Winston, you're going to well, be leading the charge. Well, at least he should know the strats, Jordan. If yeah, you're going to have true. anything, yep. if you're going to have a sub, but you'd like to think that when your coach subs in, he's caught. Maybe, I don't know. If, would you call the shots? You probably maybe I don't you know. leave like, that to your thing. captain. That's an interesting dynamic, yeah, right? Yeah, like maybe maybe their caption their captain was someone like Sad Boy, for example. I don't know actually who it is. Their in-game leader is what I'm talking about more so than their captain. But I'm not sure who was calling the shots, and I'm not sure who's doing it now. Uh, but regardless, Alter Ego are going to have to make it work. It's very very critical that they actually make it work. Otherwise, this could be them throwing away their playoffs run. Yeah, Knock Predators choosing to attack as well, Jordan. Yeah, a little bit surprising. So that is a peculiar choice, I would suggest. Normally we do see teams uh, wanting to start off on the attack, but maybe Knock Predators wants to be the one on the front foot here, making the, the decisions and putting the foot forward and making Alter Ego play reactively. Make them feel, uh, if you go through and destroy them yeah, exactly. on attack, and they're going to dive right up here onto the high ground and knock everyone off. Joker's the first one down. Followed up by Aesthetic. So even though they're on the point, Ooh. and they are on the point, they're not going to be able to get that one third of a capture by the looks yeah. of things. They almost did. Very close. Very close. But yes. essentially useless, really, at that point. You know, so close yet so far yeah. for Nook Predators. Yeah. Uh, they lost Joker pretty early on in the piece there, so which is a little bit unfortunate. Would have liked to have seen him stay up a little bit longer, but obviously good focus fire from Alter Ego. And so Nook Predators, they're going to have to give it another crack here. Going for the same composition, obviously. No real change out from them. No real change from Alter Ego. They didn't lose too many players, or any, actually, I don't think. It's, it's great for uh, your ultis, that is for sure, if you can come through without losing a player and doing a ton of damage across the board. August 9th. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, PBN almost jam, what out. Almost, almost going for the dive up again on top. And Rexer, this time the first one to go down. So now the defenders have one less player, one less tank to work with. I say that, but Knock Predators take so much damage across the board. Joker goes down. I feel like this push is slowed once again. Well, the res does come out from Aesthetic onto Joker, so it could still continue on forward for Knock Predators. Noz coming up on a Dragon Blade now as well, and that's a very early transcendence out from PB and Jam, but Noz, oh, he finds the pick. There's one, there's two, there's three, actually. Potential for four. Oily actually doing the rest of the damage. Knock Predators will be able to capture this point, one would think. They chase down the rest of the team. Sad boy, you see going down there as well. Pushing a long, long way forward. Leaving one player on the objective. There we go. Interesting that it's going to be uh, your diva there. Typically, you would see one of the healers actually staying back there. Probably the Zenyatta, as he can still get the healing out with the orb from a distance like that. But decided to send the healers forward and I mean I guess it's much of a muchness at this point because Knock Predators are still making it work and Oily will rejoin the team as the payload still does continue to push on forward here for Knock Predators. But they're making this one work, the dive's looking nice from them. Noz yeah. definitely a very impactful first Dragon Blade out from him which is always what you want to be seeing out from your Genshi and we have actually swapped that up and Special Kid is the one pushing that cart forward. Yeah, good confidence booster as well I think Jordan coming out with that uh, 
a nice little first drag blade as well. I think confidence is super important for Genji's. Really need to be full of it. 96% mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again for Noz though. So maybe a big power play about to come out here for Not Predators. A lot of their ulties available. It's a one for one trade as well. Not sure which one you'd rather lose, but neither is ideal. Tack Visor coming out from Trace. We'll join him right now up the top. Force back, takes some damage, does really not all that much up against the projected barrier there from the Winston. Noz this time coming out once again with the Dragon Blade, chasing them down, but forced out by the self-destruct. Will manage to demex Sad Boy and clean him up as well. Potential for there for Trace to go down. This is not looking right fun. after being resurrected as well. So that is. Uh, Ooh, Noz walks right into his great. death. A big trickle coming out though from Alter Ego and Knock Predator as well. They had five there now, up to the I suppose three of Alter Ego, but Alter Ego still keeping them at bay for now. Eventually, Knock Predator start to push that payload forward and. Maybe they might even get to this second point without the real contest coming out from Nock because they've been getting picked across the board. Nope. Here it comes. Alter Ego pushing on to the point right now. Nock Predators sitting here on the payload trying to do their best, trying to oh. capture point B, and maybe they'll be able to do it. August 9th fires one, ready to throw out that uh, that pulse bomb as well. If he can just chase down Trace, that would be great. Nope. Not this time. Try again. Oh. No, that's not quite going to connect, and Trace is going to... Pull out the tactical visor, which is going to be quite effective given how chaotic this fight is right now. Transcendence comes out, but perhaps a little bit late there from Special Kid as the DMAX still does come across. And as a result, Oily will go down. Yeah, Alter Ego buying a fair bit of time here on defense. Zhao going to get resurrected as well, but Knock Predators, this might, uh, this might be enough here from yeah. Noz. Noz has had enough of this. Uh, all this funny business that Alter Ego have been throwing at them and eventually decides you know, take matters into my own hands and Knock Predators will continue to push on forward. Three minutes left on the clock. It's not been too bad. It's not been slow at all by any means for them. No, Alter Ego did stall quite a bit though in that street space, which was pretty impressive given how fast Knock Predators looked like they were going to be able to complete that. Yeah, there, there was essentially one portion of, uh, of A to B there that went well for Alter Ego, but this time, we'll see how it plays out now that Alter Egos are pushing forward. Not Predators only with the one ultimate to work with. Oily has a self-destruct as well now, but surely Alter Ego Ooh. can do something. But Rexer goes down. That does not help. Trace going to have to do some big work now with the Tack Visor, I suspect. Oh, great ultimate out from Oily as oh, well. Perfect man. timing as the Dynamic came out onto Sad Boy and Not Predators. That's this. a complete wipe, almost. They might be able to get this forward. No. We see PB and Jam just getting a tag onto the payload, but for all the good it's going to do, as Rexo goes down straight away, Xiao Bao will follow. So this is not uh, not really too great for Alter Ego. They're just having to trickle onto that point, and unfortunately that's never really going to work out for you, is it? Noz no. also with the Dragon Blade really seals the deal. Not when you're not finding picks, and yep. unfortunately Alter Ego aren't able to find really anything as they stream out onto yeah. the point. That third phase was really, really good for non predators. Yeah. That's normally where you get stalled up a little bit, but in reality, I'd say the street space was actually their worst, which traditionally is most teams' best. Well, it felt like knock predators had all of their heroes ready to go. You yeah. saw that Joker got resurrected straight away as soon as they captured point B. Joker was back on the payload, ready we to back. go. Yeah, back in whatever. I don't know. Back in a monkey suit. Yeah, that's it. What are we going to see here from Alter Ego, though? It's going to be their attacking side, so perhaps some dive will come out. Like an antelope building. Yeah, that's a bit strange, isn't it? It's cool. I wonder if it's like a real mechanical antelope that, like, just walks around. You know, you come up with the randomest stuff. But that would be cool, right? Uh, I mean, I guess, if what that's if what you're, you're into. What if you were a big walking building? That would be super convenient. You could just go wherever you want. You've got a meeting, just walk your building there. Okay, well, I mean... I guess you could do that with a bus, right? But yeah, I was going to really say, like, wouldn't that be like a car? <laughs> you know? Yeah, if you work out of your car. <laughs> well, some people do. Yeah, but you can't have, like, a whole office work out of a car, Jordan. Uh, you say, I'm I sure, say silly things. I'm sure someone could find a way. If you're alter ego here, this is... Uh, look, is let's be real. 137 is pretty good, but it's not end of the world. It's 157. Right? Oh, well, still. Yeah, okay. It's, it's a little bit hidden. I can't. I can see the bottom yeah. of it. It could yeah. be a three or a five, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Still, not end of the world time. 
It's no, not like they no. just got steamrolled. So, Absolutely not. Alter Ego. But it's still quite a respectable timeout. For it is. Predators. You it know, is. You Alter would Ego take it. have to have a, a fairly decent attack side here if they're going to equalize that or beat it. Uh, they're going to go for the straight up dive against Xiao Bao. Will be on the Mercy. Again, another one of those comfort picks, I think, for Xiao Bao. Uh, we do see him play Mercy quite often. And it works out. Quite I think a bit. Mercy's still so good. I nerf like Mercy. Her, nerf her as much as you want. She's still going to be good if she can resurrect. So mm, That's true. The reality of it, we're, we're waiting, we're ready for the dive, Jordan. Yeah, well, so is Alter Ego, but they're deciding not to pull the trigger just yet. Losing too much HP to the spam early on from Alter Ego, but inevitably, here we go. Here we go, the dive comes on out, and Joker actually sitting on the other side of the point to come on through, and straight away the knock pet Predators find two. That's uh, precisely how you want to start your defense off, Jordan. Trace almost going to go down. Just waiting to see if you can pick up uh, Rexer, I think, was it? Yeah, just really nice, actually, out from Knock Predators, where they fall off, they give ground to Alter Ego, they take the picks as a result, and mm -hmm. once that one pick goes, it sort of splits up the, the attackers a little bit more. We saw Xiao Bao kind of get caught off in, you know, a pretty not very fun position, you know, stuck in a, a little bit of a room with a, uh, a big monkey smashing his face. So. Yeah, and I don't even mind having the Winston on the other side because it allows the Winston to come in and attack yeah. the back line on defense straight away. Yep, absolutely, and that's the, the real key of it. You're going to probably see that see out it again. again, although Joker misses, misses the, the jump. jump. Wow. So it's not going to work out too badly as Xiao Bao just falls right into his waiting arms. And again, the, the healers get picked off so early here for Alter Ego. Not Predator's mm. doing a great job of finding those key targets. And focusing it down. Look, it's almost the sort of thing where you're better off now trying to target that Winston, assuming that Joker plays the same point. Do they play the same hold here? Time and time again, it looks like it. The Knock Predators sending the majority up uh, of the team up top. Mm -hmm. Joker Joke's goes to the other but side. But traditionally, the Tracer will be there as well. So I'm just waiting for August 9th to join Joker here. Well, they're saying third time's the charm. Jordan. They're going to try the same strat. Mm. Yeah, early information Harder out now. there, though, for Alter Ego as well. Yeah. He just picks the corner and sees what's going on. And Oily with a self-destruct as well. The play comes out again. Let's see if it can work for them the third time around. Joker's not going to miss the dive this time. PB and Jam on the point, ready to go with that ultimate. We'll see whether the Dragon Blade does come out or not. Everyone's still alive for now. This is a better start, but then the self-destruct comes out, finds oh! three! Three what? big kills from Sad Boy from oh. Alter Ego here on attack, and Alter Ego starting to fall apart on this first point. Well, that is exactly what Alter Ego needed, isn't it? I mean, they were having some real problems. No one had gone down there yet. No one at all in that fight went down until that 3k from the self destruct. But kudos, of course, to Sad Boy. Another good ultimate coming out from him on the Diva. And that opens things oh, up now man. for Alter Ego. But. Let's not get too excited. You know, it was a good play. However, it's, it, it's the job is not yet done. It's literally the three from downtown on the buzzer. Mm. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what it was. Alter Ego, though, still have a lot of work to do here. In fact, I think they actually capped that one out a little bit slower than Knock Predators did uh, initially on that first point. So uh, they need to have a really good street space here, which is where Knock Predators did get slowed down. It's still doable, though. Yeah, well, the first portion is going okay now for Alter Ego. They have one, two, three ultis ready to go. Up against what will be Noz and Special Kid, plus that Pulse Bomb from August 9th. Should he stay alive? Rexer trying to force his way through up top. Going to force them off the high ground. They will have high ground down the back of this second part of the street space, however. PB and Jam, though, are going to find a tank. That makes life tough. There's a sound barrier and a Dragon Blade. Special Kid going to drop the Transcendence. Yep. Mercy goes down. Great work from Trace. Alter Ego looking... Uh, was okay. Now well, looks good. I think it was really just Special Kid getting a really nice Transcendence off there, denying a, a couple of ultimates out from Alter Ego. And good value out from him. Knock Predators now have stalled the card up quite substantially for Alter Ego. And even perhaps more so than what Alter Ego was able to do over to Knock Predators as this cut has actually stopped and it's not being contested right now. Which, you know, on a Knock Predators only attacking side, we sort of always saw them fighting for that card and pushing it forward. Now it's starting to move back for Alter Ego, though it won't be for too long as they're going to come in here and recontest. But this is already, I, I, in my mind, looking a little bit better for, for Knock Predators than it did for Alter Ego, just in general. Yeah, well, if they can pick up the Mercy here, that would oh, help, wow. but, well... 
As I say that, See, Rex uh, chases too far, goes down. Again, this is what I'm talking about, Ben, where it just seems like Alter Ego are a little bit uncoordinated yeah. in their dives. Rex yep. are going too far forward. The rest of the team maybe not far forward enough. They're all split up, and it ends up being a pretty easy pick there for Knock Predators. It's immediately, immediately traded out, but even still, it looks like a winning fight for Knock right now. Yeah, the three comes from downtown, completely misses the net and backboard Elfish Guy. So this time you cannot rely on the Diva. And Knock Predators cleaning up Alter Ego here on defense. 1.15 now on the clock. You have Rexer ready to go. You have Zaobao and PB and Jam. Mm. Potentially Trace as well, you'd like to think. But up against what Knock Predators have, that is not going to be enough. Yeah, Special Kid's uh, been fairly solid with those transcendences as well. So PB and Jam, we can expect to see him having some trouble getting any mm -hmm. any sort of value out of that Dragon Blade, unless Special Kid pops his ulti a little bit early or does get picked off early in the fight. That's a good stick. Great Clickbait work. goes down, and that leaves a solo healer for Xiaobao, who will naturally be focused by August 9th. Yeah, well, Trace does manage to find Oily. Special Kid getting chased out here as well. That Transcendence has been used. Wants to pick up Rexer here. You can see the Discord board being used as well. And Joker actually mm. doing the bulk of the damage by looks of things. So, 24 seconds. This is the last push. And I genuinely don't think Alter Ego can do this. No, not with only just Xiaobao's ulti there. The Valkyrie is not really going to help them. Not really going to aid them in the push. All it really is going to do is keep Xiaobao alive, which is not really what Alter Ego need right now. They need kills. They're not being able to get them even with the DPS ulties available Rexer to them. Rexer out early once again, pushes through, stays alive for now. Self-destruct coming out. Will oh. they find anyone? The answer is no. Everyone's still up. Rexer going to get picked up. Going to get resurrected. PB and Jam goes down. You can see Noz almost ready for that attack visor. And that should be enough, Jordan. I'd like to think attack visor comes out. Sad boy has the Discord orb. Everyone gets cleaned up. And Knock Predators will pick up Numbani 3 to 1. Yeah, good. Good work out from Knock Predators. Really solid defense there. And uh, a very, very nice pick in that late fight out from August 9th with the Pulse Bomb set the sort of stage for really what was uh, a conclusion of the whole map. It, it sort of it always felt like. Are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah. This I wanted to actually see this from Sad Boy's POV. Yeah, it was just so clean. It sort of. Yeah. Boop. Uh, well, you don't even kills. see it coming down, right? I know, but Until that's the, the beauty like, of it, oh, isn't it? It's like, oh, it's over the bridge. Oh, never mind. I can't yeah. get out of here. It's we're, like you don't done. see the, the end of the rainbow. That's essentially what it was there for Sad Boy. He, the rainbow and then just explosion. Okay. Explosions okay, at the mate. end of the rainbow. Okay, mate. Uh, anyway, it wasn't necessarily an explosion at the end of the rainbow there for Alter Ego because it was no. a very tough ask for them pushing through streets. And uh, it always sort of felt like they were kind of fighting from behind. Every single fight seemed to go the way of Knock Predators mm -hmm. initially, and then we sort of saw Alter Ego find their way back into it with a couple of picks, but it was too little too late. Uh, and always Knock Predators had the advantage in the majority of, of those fights, and it works out in their, their direction. 2-0 now for Knock Predators, and yeah. streaming along quite nicely. For a map that Alter Ego picked, mm -hmm. a map that Knock Predators haven't played yet up until today here in Contenders Australia, for it to come out such a convincing fashion is not looking good for Alter Ego. We are halfway through this matchup. It is a crucial game for both these teams. And Knock Predators are only one map win away from victory. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to see whether Alter Ego can do anything about this game. See you soon.